Hello there, Bill here, and welcome back to Project Build, where today we're making a wireless charging station that can charge a phone, a smartwatch, and has an auxiliary port for anything else that needs to be charged all at the same time. So the idea for this charging station is to take this piece of walnut and put a wireless charger on the back of this right side so I can put my phone here. And then on this left side, there's gonna be two pockets, one at the top, and one bigger one at the bottom. And this one at the bottom is gonna be a tray where you can put rings or jewelry or miscellaneous things like that. And the one at the top is gonna to hold a wooden piece, which is where the watch and the watch charger are gonna go. And this wooden piece is gonna be removable and held in by a magnet. So if I change watches in the future, I can just change that piece out and not have to redo the entire dock. To cut these pockets, I'm gonna be using router templates that I made out of strips of plywood super glued together. And these will just go on the front and I'll mount them in place using double-sided tape. Then I'll use a pattern bit on the router to cut them out a fourth of an inch deep. So I'm gonna go ahead and route these pockets out first so that I'll know where they are and I'll have them as reference when I go to mark the backside as I have a whole lot of cutting to do on the backside later. here for where we can put the wires and where we can't route but before we go and do any cutting on the back side I wanted to talk a little bit about the electronics that are going into this because they kind of determine the layout and what gets cut where. As you already know there's a wireless charger that's going to go over here it's going to be centered right here and I'm going to route it a four inch circle that goes down and leaves only about an eighth inch of the material left between the top of the wireless charger and the phone on the other side. To get power to this wireless charger and the other charger, I'm gonna use this USB hub. It's actually meant for a Raspberry Pi, but it's the smallest powered USB hub I can find and it works great. That's gonna go right about here and then there's gonna be a female USB-C connector that comes out the back of the dock here and then runs roughly like this. And then I'll cut and strip it and hook it up to this JST connector, which will plug into the USB hub. From there, I'll run three wires out of the hub, one going to the wireless charger, one that goes for the charger for my smartwatch, and then a third USB cable. This is a USB extension cable. And it'll go roughly and come out the side here and be an auxiliary port in case you need to charge something other than the phone or the watch. So that's the idea. Well, let's do it. test the wireless charging out just to make sure this didn't need to be any deeper. I've only left about an eighth of an inch between the top of the charging station and the wireless charger. But it's good to test this out now because it's going to be a lot harder to make this any deeper once we rat out the rest of it here. I've got the wireless charger in place using double-sided tape just temporarily. So let's go ahead and give this a try and see if it works. Okay, awesome. And we'll try it in a few different ways. So it seems to be pretty reliable as long as I get my phone centered. I'm also planning to take the top off this charger so it's as close to the wood surface as possible, but it seems to be good enough for now. So I'm ready to move on with the depth how it is right now. So I'm done rounding out all this. Now I just need to add holes for the USB auxiliary port and the USB-C power coming in, as well as a through hole on the pocket here so that the wire from the wireless charger for the watch can get through to the top of the dock.
done rounding the base. There's a few finishing touches I need to do, some sanding of the corners, things like that, but it's pretty much done. So now what I need to do is make the piece that's actually gonna hold the watch charger. The watch charger is gonna come up through this hole here and it's gonna sit on top of this piece. And I think it's gonna be like kind of a C shape, but I wanna angle the top of it at a 45 degree angle so that it sits towards you like this. And if you have a watch that doubles as a night clock while it's charging, you'll be able to see it. So that's the general idea. Let's give it a try, eh? I started by cutting and gluing together some strips of walnut into a block to make the watch holder out of. When it had dried, I squared it up and cut it to size. And then cut a 45 off the top, which will be the front face of the watch holder. I then marked all the reference lines I needed so I'd know what I needed to remove. To remove the material on the inside of the watch holder, I clamped it to my miter fence and made multiple 90 degree passes as well as one 45 degree pass by attaching it to the fence with double sided tape. I took it to the bandsaw to cut the rounded inside corners and to remove most of the remaining material still attached to the back. chiseled out the rest and did a whole bunch of sanding to smooth it out. I drilled out a large hole for the watch charger to sit in and then three smaller holes to hold magnets. Took it to the belt sander to round the corners and shape the watch holder, as well as rounding the corners of the base. Then I used my router table to cut slots for the watch charger wire to run in. some poly to finish this and then once that's done put all the electronics on the bottom and wire it up and i'll be done making this dock and i am so excited to get it done and use this it's turned out awesome so far i sprayed on six coats of poly lightly sanding with 220 grit sandpaper between coats to install the electronics i first took apart the wireless charger attached it to the dock using double-sided tape. Then I cut and inserted the USB-C and USB-A extension cables. Next, I stripped the USB-C cable leaving only the red and black power wires. A quick test, and we're good. I slid on heat shrink tubing, twisted the wires together, and soldered them. I used a heat gun to shrink the heat shrink tubing. And plugged in the power to the hub and screwed it in place. Connected the wireless charger to the hub. Before running the watch charger, I needed to install the magnets to hold the watch holder in place. I put two magnets together and marked the outsides and then glued them in place using super glue. Then I marked the back side of the magnet for the watch charger and glued it in place as well. Next, I ran the wire for the watch charger.
zip tied the wires holding them in place using hot glue. All right, we are done wiring this charging station. So let's see how it works. First, we'll try the watch. Good, and now my phone. Okay, awesome. And let's see about charging something external too. Ah, awesome. It is charging all three things at once. This is great. The hub only supports up to two amps max, so you wouldn't be able to charge something like an iPad at the same time as your phone and watch. But for overnight charging on my nightstand, which is how I'm using it, this is gonna work awesome. And that's it. We are done with this charging station. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought down in the comments section. And be sure to subscribe because I have lots of other cool things that I'm gonna be making in the future. Until next time, go build yourself.